Sorry. <laughs> Have it all planned. Yeah, sorry, go. On. If you're easily offended by 1970s sexism, look away now. Someone's made a board game version of Miss UK. <laughs> it could be worse though, and I'll come on to why in a bit. <laughs> the despair in your face. This, this, this game, when you saw this game, um, it's weird where we found it. I will, we'll come to that in a minute. But yeah. it's, it's, it was like, what? I can't, I can't even believe they made went, this game. That's a board game? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? And it's quite a weird box. It's a yeah, big box. It's a big actually. box. It's not your traditional board game no. style box, this. 1975. It, it's not your traditional board game, to be honest. 1975. Mm. Oh, again, so so yeah, older older than us again. So that's it good. Indeed, yeah. It is indeed. But you've got that look on the front. You've got someone crowned in their swimming <sighs> costume. I... It's you with know. The, the, just 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 no no but I'll come on to why actually things could be worse so yeah. anyway this Miss UK published by Dennis Fisher who if you saw our video of the haul that we got when we did the charity shops of Gillingham we picked way up, back when we picked up a board game from there which was the new Avengers board game yes. that was made by the same people as this right so I, uh, that's okay. why I recognise okay. that that so, brand sure. oh, well, this, this is Strawberry Fair by Dennis Fisher but Dennis Fisher did the right. new Avengers board game that we got there okay okay so this yeah. one play the glamorous game of Miss UK contestants need talent personality and dress sense to win yeah this oh dear uh, I've we've already discussed this game <laughs> so I can't I kind of, I, I know what's coming. Um, it's hideous. It's hideous. Um, <laughs> the weird thing is, the board is complete. In yeah, that it's not yeah, folded. Which, like yeah, which is why the flat, box is so damn the, big. Yeah, why the box is like that. So the box, okay. Well, the board. Let's talk about the board. So Hang in on. the middle, it, it gets a bit confusing here. Um, I You'll mentioned to hold when it, we because so, I'm more that side. I mentioned so. when we did the um, when we took a first look at the new Avengers board game that yeah. they kind of have a spinner in the middle. That seems to be a Dennis Fisher. Thing. Right. Because yeah. in this one you have, and this is oh, it has it's supposed to have sticky bits on the bottom. Uh, you have a TV camera. Right. You see that there, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. your spinner for in the middle, and it's whatever that's pointing to, which chooses the numbers round here. So that's in lieu of having a so, dial. Oh, I so, see. So the sticky pad. Yeah, it's would supposed have to line held up there. that on yeah. there. Oh, and, it kind of does. And then that goes in the middle. So you'd spin it, that yeah. to get the so numbers. It, right. Okay. okay. So that's simple enough. Where it gets a bit confusing, okay, but wait, wait, let's backtrack a bit. Round the edge of the board, you've got squares, things like the judges' box, take any competition card, but you've got other rounds, and these are the rounds of Miss UK or Miss World. So you've got a personality round, a talent round, an evening gown round, and a swimsuit round, which apparently has now been banned, but only like as recently as Hang 2000. On, what do you mean, what do you mean, only now banned? There still is Miss UK and Miss World. Is there? But the swimsuit round only went in something, I want to say 2011, but it might have even been like 2013 or something. Right, well, I, I, thought, I thought this is completely the name, gone. The name was changed to the beachwear round because they held it in a Muslim country at one point and then went, oh, we can't have a swimsuit round in a Muslim country. Anyway, right. I've been really up on this. Okay. So you've got those four rounds, though, and for each of those rounds, there are corresponding cards... So we've got like um, evening gown cards, we've got personality cards, we've got talent cards and we've got swimsuit cards. Right. So for each of these, when you land on them, you take the relevant card and the stuff on them. Like So this one for the evening gown round, the colour of your gown matches your big blue eyes, a winning team for an extra 20 points right. you've got stuff in the um the talent round you hit a sour note better stop singing that song no points um the swimsuit right. round all eyes are on you during the swimsuit competition the judges agree to award you an extra 40 points the aim it's all to do with getting points basically in the competition as you might expect but it's not as simple as you just have a competition and you go around. Oh, no, 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 no. So the way it works is you have six regional finals. The winner of each of the six regional finals then goes on to compete in the grand final. Right. So that means your game has got seven rounds in it, okay? I can't. So you start off with Miss England North, 
then Miss Scotland, Miss England Midlands, Miss Wales, Miss England right. South, and Miss Northern Ireland. So okay. the way the cards go, you've got the big stack of like contestant cards there. Yeah, yeah. So you can have up to four players in this game. Right. Those players are given the nice seventies colours of either purple, orange, red, or white. One thing before you continue, one thing I have noticed. And there's another thing about this game, <laughs> is that it's very white. Yeah, it is, because that's how it was. And there is the typical brunette, the blonde brunette, ginger, maybe. Oh, sorry, redhead, apologies. Uh, yeah, so, but, but they're very, white. very white. The way it works, though, is each of the four players, so with either red, orange, white or purple... They then, in each round, have a contestant. So okay. there are four contestants in each round. So you have, like, this lady, and then you have she's Miss Plymouth. So you have those... So, <laughs> get, the, get the right city. <laughs> so in each of the regional finals, each player has a contestant. They go around the board... I can't remember how many times. It doesn't matter plenty of times they go around they get points whoever's got the most points then wins that regional final okay and that girl is then put on the relevant point in the middle okay when you've got all your regional finalists you then have the grand final and in the grand final each of them one at a time goes around the board keeps their points secret and at the end the person with the most points wins overall okay now First of all, that's incredibly dull that you're playing this seven times, effectively. Yeah. There's also the fact that... Imagine you've got four players in the game, which is the maximum. Mm. You could technically have it. So one player you owns could. all of the six people that go into the final. Yes, you could. It's technically possible. Yeah. Or it could be that two players own all the six between them. So it's a bit weird because you'll... With there being six rounds yeah, or six heats, yeah, I see what you mean. One player will have at least one player will have more than one person in the grand final. Yeah. So it's all a bit strange like that, and uh, it, really prolonged. A, it, and it just seems to me in in you know in this kind of time that we live in that it's an incredibly inappropriate game, and uh, I can't see how anyone would ever have played it originally anyway. But I suppose... But people must have done. Yeah, this game done. has been played. Yeah, if you look at been. it, it has all been used and stuff. Yeah. So it has been played. It could be worse, though. In doing a little bit of research about this, the same people published Miss World, the board game, I think two years before this one right. came out. I think that's right. So I think this was 75. And I think in 73, Miss World, the board game, came out. Now, I've only read about this online. <laughs> it featured dolls that you had to dress in swimming costumes for some swimming costume round. I know, it's just like, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. As I say, <laughs> if you're easily offended by these things, do not buy this game. Do not look for this game in charity shops. Do not try and buy it on eBay or anything like that. It's... Do not watch this video. <laughs> it's interesting from a historical point of view yeah it's interesting that people were prepared to make a board game out of pretty much anything back in the 1970s yeah but oh my life it's hideous it's hideous horrible and can we finish now yes bye bye <laughs>